the world's population is growing and the world's energy requirements are growing. Everybody has a basic right to have access to power. It's not just about finding a resource that's abundant, it's about finding something that can be used again and again and again. The work is to create light. We didn't know that 1.3 billion people live without electricity and relied on kerosene for home lighting. It emits huge amounts of black carbon and it coats the inside of your lungs. Shell saw the potential for gravity light to reduce the output of black carbon, which is a really serious environmental issue. Gravity light is, in essence, a DC generator. You fill the bag with rocks, and then you pull on a cord, and as soon as you do that, it turns that lift into light. Using gravity to create power, there's a certain amount of magic in that. It's about identifying something really ubiquitous and exploiting that resource. According to the World Survey, 60% of air pollution is just due to traffic. Roads are everywhere in the world. There are a lot of cars passing by. They are pushing the air in different directions. Why don't we use this wind thrust to generate energy? That wind thrust is completely wasted currently. The turbine is also capable of capturing the carbon particles from the air. In addition to generating the clean energy, it can also give you the fresh air to breathe in. The whole world is ours, so we have to do something. It's a home. In the UK, we produce about 500,000 tonnes of waste coffee grounds a year. Coffee's got a higher caloric value than wood, so it makes a fantastic fuel. When you leave a coffee out over a long period of time, you get a thin layer of oil on top. We collect coffee grounds, take the oils out and turn it into diesel, and then use the solids left over and compress them into a biomass pellet for heating buildings and generating electricity. To crack this idea of sustainable urban living, I think the easiest and quickest way to do that is through waste. And the range of opportunities there is just vast. The conception of a Eureka moment is, I think, frankly, somewhat of a myth. The idea is the first step, but it's about the delivery and the execution. We received a lot of support from Shell. It's about that shared ethos and shared thinking. The capture mobility journey, it started with the Shell. They gave us courage, the guidance and motivation. I think so much of it is around brazen belief and just really going for it. If someone told you that this idea is not successful, don't, don't listen to it, just go for it. Get your hands dirty, make prototypes again and again and again. One day there will be a change. As designers we always have this very strong conviction that wouldn't it be amazing to design solutions that impact people's lives in a positive way. My interest isn't in renewable energy per se, uh, it's more around how we can live sustainably as a species. To save our life, to save our future, you have to go for something tangible, something new. If we can find ways to solve a lot of those challenges, you can change the big picture as well, you can change the world. <laughs>